Well, do you know what's in your drinking water? A shocking Associated Press investigation found various pharmaceuticals in the drinking supplies of at least 41 million Americans. Tainted water was found from New Jersey to California. New worries tonight about the safety of America's water supply in the first nationwide investigation of its kind. The Associated Press found that at least 41 million of us are drinking water that contains traces of prescription drugs. And now many are wondering, is our water safe? Also making news today, antibiotics, mood stabilizers, sex hormones, painkillers. Now, we're not talking about your drugstore. We're talking about your tap water. A five-month Associated Press investigation finds trace amounts of drugs in the tap water of 41 million Americans in two dozen major metropolitan areas. Now, we emphasize the word trace, but just how serious is this problem in the long term? Well, let's bring in our medical correspondent, Elizabeth Cohen. When you hear that, it is a bit shocking to know that all of those drugs, even though it's in trace amounts, could be in our water system. Right, and the bottom line, Betty, is that we don't really know what it's doing to us to drink this stuff day in and day out because they're just now figuring out that it's in the water in the first place. Let's take a look at this Associated Press five-month investigation, what it found. Here's a couple of sample cities. In Atlanta, they found that there were antibiotics and a blood pressure drug in the water. In Cincinnati, a cholesterol drug and estrogen, which is used pharmaceutically. In New York City, traces of an anti-seizure drug and an anti-anxiety drug. Several water systems had many, many drugs. Philadelphia, for example, had 56 different drugs in the water. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, how in the world do drugs get in the water? The answer is we take drugs. Our body doesn't absorb everything. Our body gets rid of some of it. That sewage is then treated and then can end up in tap water. An investigation into drinking water is generating some big concerns out there today. This is a study that was done, some research by the Associated Press, and they found traces of prescription and over-the-counter drugs in drinking water supplies that go to more than 40 million people in this country. They said they found antibiotics, mood stabilizers, sex hormones, and lots of other drugs in some of the tap water out there. The affected water supplies included 24 major metropolitan areas from Southern California to New Jersey. Let's take a look at how this could happen. It all starts when someone flushes drugs down the toilet. I think everybody has done this at some point in their life. You think you're getting rid of them in, the, in a way that uh, won't allow kids to get their hands on them, anything like that. Well, it travels into a water treatment plant. Then it goes into a reservoir, then back to another water treatment plant before becoming tap water in the U.S. Now, the Environmental Protection Agency released a statement saying that the United States has one of the safest drinking water supplies in the world. And the EPA is committed to keeping our water clean and healthy. Important to remember that the toilet is not a trash can, and we encourage safe disposal of practices of uh, unused prescription drugs to help keep pharmaceuticals out of our water. So joining me now is Dr. Jennifer Ashton. She's a Fox News medical contributor. Doctor, good to have you here. Thanks, Martha. All right, so, you know, the EPA is basically saying not to worry, uh, and yet there's a lot of scary stuff that's being found in there. Is it dangerous? Yeah. Um, I think it is. I think the EPA is correct. We do have the safest water supply in the world. However, true, true, and unrelated. I mean, this is also, I think, potentially cause for concern. And let's be clear, Martha, the, the animated graphic that we just showed is a nice way of just explaining how these get into our water supply. Remember the other way, human waste. It's not just people discarding their prescription medications right. in the toilet. A lot of drugs are metabolized or processed through the kidneys and are excreted in through the toilet and our reservoir, our sewage system, and find its way back to our water. And I think that is cause for concern. It is. It's a scary thought. I think a lot of people think, well, I almost always drink, you know, bottled water these right. days, so no problem. Right. right or wrong? Wrong, because there is, first of all, bottled water is not subject to the same level of testing. However, and in addition, there is a lot to substantiate the fact that a lot of bottled water is merely repackaged tap water. So I think when people consider this, you need to remember two very important points, frequency and intensity. So in order to have anything reach a toxic level, you need either a very high frequency, which would be drinking drinking water every single day for 50 years of your life. Which or, we all do. Correct. <laughs> or you need a high intensity, which is, you know, a, a, a strong dose or concentration. The intensity might not be high here, but certainly the frequency is. So I think it's something that needs closer and, study. And there's water in everything. I mean, there's water in juice, coffee, there's water in soda, right. there's water in coffee. That's so right. what can you do to try to minimize your risk?